the last song that the sixth grade band will be playing is called Gypsy Dance. And this song I chose because it will challenge them. This is a song that in the past I've actually done with the seventh and eighth grade band. Um, but I really thought that this particular group could handle it. And so we focused a lot on articulations and dynamics and having different parts. There's some parts where sometimes people feel like they're almost playing by themselves and it's not exactly in a major key or a minor key, it's something completely different. So this really challenged students to learn a lot about music and hopefully it comes off really well. They, they started to do really well. So thank you so much for listening to the uh, sixth grade band and then after that we'll bring up the seventh and eighth grade band. This is their last song, Gypsy Dance. seventh and eighth grade band. The songs that they're performing tonight are quite a bit longer. Um, they're, they have wider range, all in dynamics and in the notes that they use as well. And you'll see a lot more differences in instrumentation. And so it's all kind of coalescing as they're continuing to learn in their learning process. So our first song that we'll be playing with the seventh and eighth grade band tonight is called Wycliffe Overture. It has kind of a quicker section, a majestic section. It contrasts with a middle, kind of smoother, quieter section, and then goes back to a quicker section again. Thank you. 
our next song, I want to um, recognize this past weekend, three students from Robinson were selected to participate in the Northeast District of the Kansas Music Educators Association. And this is a group to which I belong with all of my colleagues in music. And the Northeast District of, Cam uh, of Kansas encompasses 11 counties, including Kansas City Schools, Lawrence, Overland Park, all of that. And um, there's a middle level honor band to which I nominated several of our fine students and three were selected. So I just want to publicly recognize Abby Ludlum and Aubrey Zimmerman and Rachel Newman. So stand up ladies, thank you. They got to participate where they actually had to learn their music on their own for about five weeks before the event and then they came together with approximately 100 or so other students rehearsed for about four hours and then put on a concert at one o'clock all in the same day and so um, i'm really proud of how they represented robinson and it, it was just an amazing experience so um I feel like I have really great kids that I get to work with every day. Like, this is my job. I'm so happy with it. So our, our next song is called Santa of Seville. And it's a little bit quirky because it mixes a lot of the themes of the Barbara of Seville by Rossini um, in his opera, The Barbara of Seville, with a lot of familiar, like, holiday, Christmassy type tunes that are all mishmashed together. So it's really uh, fun and interesting and very exciting. <laughs> baritone part. So I want to kind of talk through the process of what it's like to learn a new song in band. So students, first we're going to be looking at the soprano part. So everyone's playing the soprano part all together in unison. To look at that, first of all, you need to see the key signature and you need to see the time signature. Please notice that there's a repeat at the end of measure four. Okay. 
notice any accidentals? Okay, they're in there, there's a few. So watch out for them. And we're working on getting all of the percussionists set up on mallet instruments. You see them moving around and changing around to all kinds of different instruments. That's part of being a good percussionist. With 57 people on stage, it's a little bit cramped, as you might imagine. All right, so we're all going to now play through the soprano line. This, in case you're wondering, is from a book called Bach and Before for Band. So this is a chorale written by Johann Sebastian Bach, and it's arranged uh, for band students. And so this is chorale number five from the book. All right, we'll all play the soprano line. Signature still the same. Repeat just a little bit different notes this time. So here's the alto part. pretty active there's a lot more notes so they're going to take just a, a couple more seconds to just look through the parts
pieces of the puzzle, we get to put them together. So for this time, I'm just gonna let students choose whatever part they wanna play. So students, tell the people on both sides of you which part you're gonna play. All right, how many people are playing the bass line? How many people playing the tenor line? Alto? Soprano. Cool. They play in five different key signatures, three different time signatures. They have all kinds of articulations, dynamics. You'll even hear a solo from Abby Wagemaker on saxophone tonight. So we <laughs> said the wrong name. I thought all their kids. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and so you'll hear from Sophie on saxophone tonight. And it's just, it was a really hard piece for us to work on. We had to break it down piece by piece by piece. There's lots of transitions and um, students have worked really hard on it. So hopefully you will enjoy our last song, Holiday Favorites. Sophie, I'm sorry, Mr. <laughs> <laughs>
much again, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out tonight and for supporting these fine young individuals playing their instruments. It's so meaningful and so important for what they do and the people that they're going to become and how wonderful they are. Well